What's up guys, this is Andrew at Night, and today I'm going to show you how you can improve the battery life on your Nexus 5. The Nexus 5 is a great phone, it's really good value and the specs are fantastic, but the battery life is not crap, but not fantastic. I'm going to start with non-rooted stuff and then move through to rooted things, but in all honesty, if you really want to save your battery life, you are going to need to root. I'll put a link in the description if you've got a MacBook to my video on how to root the Nexus 5 with a Mac, and I'll put links in the description as well to all the apps I talk about and anything else that's relevant. All that being said, enjoy the video. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to talk about is things you can do if you're not rooted. There's obviously all the things that everyone says, so if you go into your settings, you can turn off things that you don't need, so Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, that sort of thing. Along with that, everyone also, also always talks about the brightness. If you have it on auto bright, it'll be an okay battery life, but if you drop it to something lower than auto brightness, um, which for the majority of the time should be okay, especially if you're indoors, or if you get yourself a matte screen shield like I do, which makes it even easier to see it outside, you can really drop the brightness, and the screen brightness and the screen is one of the things that really kills phone batteries. I think like 80% of your battery is taken using the screen so if you lower the brightness then you're obviously going to improve the battery life on the same sort of note if you use a wallpaper like this which is darker you will save battery because it takes more power to light a pixel than just to display a dark pixel the next thing is kind of specific but if you use Facebook which I know most people do don't use the app what I have here is an HTML5 web link which if I open just opens up Facebook in the browser for me which is ample for what I use Facebook for um, I don't use messenger for anything particularly sort of pertinent or um, anything particularly important so it's fine for me not having the messenger app and the Facebook app so you don't get notifications but I can just log in there and check it's just as quick um, as the Facebook application and to be honest it doesn't look that much worse than the actual app it's just the official app is an absolute battery hog it just just kills your battery um, and this is one of the things that I've done and actually seen the most improvement in my battery life is just uninstalling Facebook. So uninstall Facebook and Facebook Messenger. Another one is if you use smart launchers. I'm using Nova Launcher, which is pretty good as far as battery goes, but if you just use completely stock, um, stock launcher, everything like that, you will get slightly more battery life. Launchers like Chameleon and um, everything.me, and all the sort of the smart launcher, which is sort of context aware and stuff like that, they will have your battery because they're always checking, always updating. Next thing is live wallpapers. Most live wallpapers are quite good, but if you use a live wallpaper that isn't very well coded, that will really, really hammer your battery. If you want to see which apps are actually doing the most to your battery, just go into settings and open battery and it'll tell you straight away. So you can see the screen is used the majority of things for me there, um, but it also tells you the other apps that have been running. If you're running an Android version that is lower than 4.2, you can install an app called wake lock detector and this kind of does the same thing as the battery but it does um, it does it for wake locks so you can see here whatsapp has been wake locking a lot because of the, obviously it's got the notifications google search calendar storage but nothing too bad if you had facebook installed it's huge facebook would be like 500 at this point um, just from going on one day so use this app to check out other apps that you need to uninstall if it's an app that you really still need to use but it's killing your battery you can install another app which is called greenify and if you hit there that will hibernate it for Greenify, you do need to be rooted. There's a version for non-rooted phones, I think, which has sort of minimal functionality, but if you're rooted, it works absolutely perfectly. You can see here, I've got a bunch of apps that I've hibernated. These are the ones that were showing up with wake locks, so get rid of those. The battery life improves quite dramatically. So if you are rooted, the main thing you want to do is install a custom kernel. I'd suggest you install the Hammerhead one, which is what I'm running. I'm running 3.4 Hammerhead Faux Kernel. This is really good because it gets... This allows you to use the Faux Clock app. Faux clock lets you do a bunch of things, but the ones we're going to focus on are the CPU clocking and the voltage adjusting. If you go to CPU clocking, you can see there's different governor presets. If you use power save, obviously it's going to save power for you and improve your battery life. There's a bunch of other ones you can choose from, but if you're looking to save your battery, power save is where you want to put it. You also want to go and look at the voltage adjustment. You want to drop down your battery voltage. I'm a negative 75. Um, different people use different ones to see what works for you, but negative 75 seems to be quite good for me. The last thing is sort of like a lifestyle thing, I guess. First of all, don't expect to have a huge amount of battery life if you're, say, gaming on the train for three hours and listening to music over Bluetooth whilst downloading something in the background. That's just going to kill your battery. The second thing is look at your charge schedule, which sounds really sort of anal and strange, but but I charge this every night on a wireless charger next to my bed, so every morning it's on 100%. And then throughout the day, I've got wireless chargers next to, um, next to my bed, as I said, on my desk. 
and next to where I read most of the time. So if I'm not using my phone, it's normally sitting on a wireless charger, and it sounds like a bit of a cheat, like I can get more battery life if I charge my phone more, which is obviously true. But if you use these wireless chargers, it's really no effort. You don't even have to plug it in, you just put it down. It's the same as if, if I sit down on the sofa, I don't keep my phone in my pocket, I put it on the arm on the sofa. It's exactly the same, but you just put it on a charger. That will obviously dramatically increase your battery life, and when you get used to it, after a couple of days, it just becomes second nature. So you will improve your battery life a lot just by actually charging it more which is kind of a cop out, but there you go. I hope that was useful guys. Post in the comments below if there's any tips you'd like to share. If you like the video, hit like, share it around. Please subscribe if you haven't seen before, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace.